Hello and welcome to a new episode of Hannibal's Kitchen. Today we're gonna have a nice hot chili. My kitchen is already now very hot. I, I can feel the chili all in the room. So, um, this is not a recipe from Hannibal, but it's uh, something we had in American Gods. American Gods, the new show of Brian Fuller, the new successful show of Brian Fuller. Brian Fuller, we love you. Uh, yes. In this show we also have uh, our loved and uh, already known cook from Hannibal, it's Janice Boone. Janice Boone is responsible for the food in American Gods. So here, inspired by Janice Boone, is my chili con carne ingredients. We start up with cutting our half vegetable onion and our one white onion before we chop them very fine. Same way we continue with our two red chilies. We cut them and chop them with the seeds. Cut out the strunk of the yellow and the red paprika and after you just cut them into four parts cut out that uh, little white inside the paprika and take out the seeds. After you will cut them into stripes and cut little cubes. Don't make that ones too small, too fine. Make little dices. Heat up olive oil in a heavy pot over medium high heat and let our onions get a little glassy. While our onions are getting glassy, we have time to chop the garlic. When onions turn glassy, add our minced meat and let it get small and lightly browned. And then you can add our garlic. Add tomatoes including sauce and make the tomatoes small over the heat. Later they will get absorbed by cooking anyway very good so don't worry if you don't make them so so small. You can add the chili after. So spicing time, we have salt and of each spice now 2 teaspoons, there we have coriander, there we have paprika, the spicy powder, and so we have sweet paprika, oregano, Cumin, pepper, and that's it. You can also add one spoon of uh, vegetable broth and a splash of lemon juice, and then you close the lid and let it cook for at least 20 minutes. Then we chop our three pieces of dark chocolate very fine and then we give them with the paprika together inside our cooking chili and stir around and let it last again one more time for 10 minutes add the mix of beans peas and corn and again we stir one more time around and let it one more time last for 10 minutes. Stir one more time around and serve with rice and bread. And if you like it a little bit more mild, you can add some sour cream on the top. So here we are back at my table. Um, I let the chili last overnight. Uh, of course, I tried yesterday already a little bit, um, but uh, it's very nice to leave a chili overnight so all the spices can pull through. Mm. 
it's spicy, it has a good spice, it's not too hot for me, I like little spicy food, not too much spicy. Um, yes, some people like it with a little bit of sour cream, I, <laughs> I have some sour cream here on my plate. Um, I want to give you a promise, my promise is, if I cook something and I produce a video, and the taste of the food was not good, I will not publish that video. I made that experience this week. I made some snails, uh, but I didn't get the right snails. So I tried it with some different snails. Uh, it didn't work out good. It, it worked out good, but it was not my taste. And um, if it's not my taste, uh, and if I think it's, it's not a good taste, I'm not gonna share this with you. A friend said, hey, you can say it's it's a good taste, but no. That's my promise. Uh, always, when I give you a video, it's a good taste and I enjoyed eating what I cooked. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you soon again. I will be back next Sunday, 7 p.m. That's my time. That's the Hannibal Kitchen time. So, see you next week and have a good night.